What's up guys? Welcome back to Half Men of Tech. So I've been using WatchOS 7.1 Beta 2 on my Apple Watch Series 6 that you see here. This is just the GPS uh, Blue Edition of the Series 6. And if we go into the settings, right, and then go to the general, and then go to the About This Watch section here, you can see the version or the build number that came with this Beta 2 of WatchOS 7.1. And the build number is 18R556. One e this has an e at the end and basically in terms of stability wise there's a few bugs that i noticed and since this is a follow-up video to my initial video that i did i'm going to be highlighting some of the issues that i noticed the first issue that i noticed has to do with the watch faces so when you are on this page and you long press here you notice that sometimes when you are on watchOS 7.1 beta 2 this page sort of gets stuck from time to time it's something that i was experiencing more often initially when i updated my apple watch to watchOS 7.1 beta 2 but you know after restarting my apple watch i noticed that that bug sort of disappeared so if you have a different apple watch this is something that you might want to watch out for and if you are updating look out for this i don't know if the bug completely disappeared or if it's uh, coming back for me it's been like a hit and miss at this time ever since i restarted my apple watch series 6 after updating to watch OS 7.1 beta 2. the next bug that i noticed with this update has to do with hand washing so as you know with watch OS 7 there's now that automatic hand washing detection feature and with watchOS 7.1 beta 2 I noticed that that feature is sort of delayed I don't know if it's just for the series 6 so usually on a normal version of watchOS which is not a beta the feature starts counting at like 16 seconds but when I updated to watchOS 7.1 beta 2 I noticed that you know the hand washing detection feature is sort of kicking in at around 13 seconds which you know it's usually supposed to be close to 20 seconds but I noticed that the auto detection of the Apple watch when it comes to hand washing on watchOS 7.1 beta 2 is sort of being delayed which is not so good considering the times that we're in but i don't know if this is affecting all models but for me on my series 6 that is what's happening also another bug or issue that came with watch away 7.1 beta 2 has to do with the battery for older series of the apple watch and at this time it seems to be more concentrated towards the series 3 and series 4 and basically for those users they are reporting that you know their battery is performing like so so terrible but for me on my apple watch series 6 it's actually performing quite well now let me just show you what i'm getting in terms of you know my battery performance so if we go into the settings and then you know go to the battery section which is right here you can see that you know my apple watch is on 71 percent and it was actually last charge to a hundred percent at 7 a.m and the time as you can see now is 4 32 p.m so it's been like almost a whole day and i have 71 percent so for me it's quite good and just by looking at the graph here you can see that you know it actually maintained a hundred percent all the way until like 9 30 so i can't really complain when it comes to uh the battery performance on the apple watch series 6 but if you have a series 3 or series phone then you might want to keep an eye on your battery performance and also if we go to the battery health here you can see that my uh maximum health capacity is on 100 percent and before updating it was on 100 after updating it remains on you know 100 percent so no change there when it comes to you know watch away 7.1 beta 2 and when it comes to performance you know i can't really complain um my device seems to be performing like it was before i can't really tell the difference because i came from watch away 7 the official version to watch away 7.1 beta 2 so it's kind of okay when it comes to performance wise applications are opening as they are supposed to and there's no delay you know in most of the applications and multitasking is also working as it's supposed to you can see that you know it's actually good when it comes to um, multitasking or opening quite um, different applications with this watch 7.1 beta 2 now with watch 7.1 beta 2 there's about uh, four or five new features that came with this update and the first one has to do with you know different emojis that we got so if we go into type messages and then you know 
click on the emoji section here you will see quite a number of different emojis that have been added for example if we click this section here that says smile and you scroll down you notice that you know this is a new emoji of this guy wearing specs and the mustache and there's more emojis under that section there's also more emojis that were added with regards you know to animals and nature also food and drink has been updated we have more fruits and then we also have more variety when it comes to food we also have like you can see that bubble tea emoji there that is a new feature or a new icon that has been added with watch os 7.1 beta 2 and there's a ton ton new of emojis that were added basically all the emojis that have been added to the latest beta of ios 14 have also been implemented in watch os 7.1 beta 2 the second new feature that came with this update it's actually not a feature or it's more of a fix and it has to do with the missing apple watch faces so if we go here and you know just see the different apple watch faces that we had that came with watch os 7 you can see that you know they are now showing you can see this one here it's now working as it's supposed to and if you click on it you can see the different variations if you want to see you know the iphone here you can see that the watch faces that are under the section new in watch os are now showing as they are supposed to so this is a fix that came with watch os 7.1 beta 2 on beta 1 quite a number of users were reporting that you know this watch faces were missing and also quite a number of different watch faces were missing but that has now been fixed with watch os 7.1 beta 2 now another change also that came with this update has to do with siri now if you use siri a lot on your apple watch you can now send messages using siri so you can basically dictate what you want siri to send and once you confirm the message and the recipient siri will be able to send the message which is a fix that came with watch os 7.1 beta 2 also with this uh, watch os 7.1 beta 2 if you have the apple watch series 6 and you want to take your blood oxygen sensor it's now giving you know more accurate readings and if it wasn't working before for you on beta 1 it's now working on beta 2 and all you have to do is to basically just click start and you know you can see that these led lights will come on and you know just do the measurements but it's now working on watch away 7.1 beta 2 blood oxygen measuring another change that came with watch away 7.1 beta 2 has to do with apple pay so if you use apple pay on your watch it's now working and also apple cash family is now available using apple pay on the apple watch so this is not something that i use and i can't really demonstrate it but if you do then that has been fixed with watch away 7.1 beta 2 in the background of this watch away 7.1 beta 2 there's a ton of new bug fixes that uh, are fixed with this update and also a few security updates so if you want to see the release notes from apple i'll surely leave them in the description of this video now when it comes to the next watchOS update which is perhaps watchOS 7.1 beta 3 we can sort of expect it this week most probably on the 6th of October since watchOS 7.1 beta 2 was released this week so at this time you know apple is working on releasing ios 14.1 which is going to ship with a new iphone so i would like to believe that watch away 7.1 is also going to come out during that time when the new iphones come out with ios 14.1 so we can sort of expect beta 3 this week and then we'll sort of move on to like a gm and then after that we we'll see the official release of watchOS 7.1 so basically that's about it for me when it comes to watchOS 7.1 beta 2 this is a small follow-up video on you know some of the bugs and whether you should update or not i really think that this version you can see the build number that we have that it has an e at the end and basically e is not stable enough although you know for other devices they tend to suffer more when it comes to these beta updates and if you have an older device i definitely don't recommend that you update and then if you are longing for the fixes that came with this watch away 7.1 beta 2 then you know you can always make up your mind but i really wouldn't recommend you update to this watch away 7.1 beta 2 anyways that's about it for me guys if you like this video please hit like and also subscribe down below and stay safe and i will definitely see you in the next video very soon peace